Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Sorry, there was some private information on the front, so we have both cards out today. Uh, I, uh, I do not know what this is. I had a bunch of conversations with people who were loaning knives for a view on this channel, and this is likely one of them. If it is something I can link, I will definitely link it right down in the description for you guys to check out if you want to. It does help my channel when you use my links, but that is entirely up to you. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Also, thank you to uh, Brian for uh, sending this in for review. I have to make a couple of cuts off camera because there's a little bit of private information like pretty much everywhere on this box. I totally didn't cut towards myself just now. <laughs> just take my word for it. Okay, so we have something here, interesting, and then something. Oh, we have a Tucson, which always feels like a gamble for some reason. But you know what? You guys keep asking me to look at Tucson knives. And, you know, some of their stuff looks kind of okay. And some of it looks like it's just weird. I don't know, right? So we're going to see. Okay. So we got a note here. Hey, MC, I have included the, oh, good, yes. And the uh, Tucson, I, this is a code and a number. Um, and, oh, wait a minute. This is a Tucson in M398? I'm not sure how the Tucson M398 will hold up. That's where I'm always a little bit, meh, is there heat treat, right? But then again, I mean, we got a lot of companies who are not heat treating things appropriately, right? In my opinion, why am I doing quote, air quotes from my opinion? In my opinion, in many people's opinions. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to use it very much and compare it to Herman Knives M398, which is amazing. I agree. I agree. And you know what? It's actually a little, I found out it's actually a little bit low. And holy crap, it's incredible. It's way, it's way better than even the best M390 that I have experienced. So, okay. The email and uh, feel free to use and carry either. Okay, wonderful. Let's go ahead and get, so this first one here is the Tucson TS... 306. Alrighty. Oh, it's uh, kind of a big boy and kind of a shiny boy. Um, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got some. Now, initially, this is going to look like Timascus to some people. This is actually like a plasma anno um, on titanium. So it is just one piece of titanium. You know, okay. <laughs> I got. <laughs> it's got that Tucson weirdness, right? That sort of X factor you can't quite put your finger on. It's got that, but oh boy, it feels really nice. I'm gonna give that uh, give that hole a try. Giggity. Um, yeah, okay, that um, that works. Boy, the action feels really smooth. The detent feels nice. Yeah, here, I'll give you a look at that detent here, right there. You ready? Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Okay. Like the Plasma Anno, very interesting carbon fiber inlays here. And let's uh, give it a give it a little zoom here. Sorry. Stop quaking the camera. All of this is textured. Milling lines. Milling lines on the carbon fiber. Look at that. How they have beveled these sort of rectangles that house the inlays. All of these are set in really nicely. Sorry for the fingerprints. Titanium milled clip. Hmm. Two, whoops. Tucson. Um, really stepped it up with this one. Uh, yeah, this is a good call to the person. This is the kind of, this is what I was looking for. M398. Not familiar with that maker's logo. If you're new to my channel, this is not a review. This is not how I review knives. I don't open them from the box, handle them for the first time and go, here's what I think. Uh, no, it, it takes a little bit. You know, I, I got to, there's more to this process than just handling them and flipping them. Uh, you'll get the full comprehensive review of this guy in a few weeks. I mean, it has to go in queue. I've got a lot of content that's pre-recorded that needs to get uploaded. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. Exposed frame lock. It's a fairly thick boy, and it's also a fairly big boy. Ergonomics on this are beautiful. It's still kind of rectangly, but these edges are definitely knocked down a bit. I have no idea if this is still available. Nice one from Tucson. Look at that pivot and pivot collar. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, this is the kind of stuff that I was hoping to see. And then this is the, uh, the Riata uh, Gents number nine, which I've been very curious about. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Man, okay, so, he, so let me say this right off the bat. This is smaller than I thought it was going to be, but... The first thing I noticed was not the size of it. The first thing I noticed, if you're going to do a plain tie scale, look how beautifully, these are almost like radius edges. It's very rounded. You know what's funny? It's not totally contoured. It's just a really heavy radius here. And then this is actually flat, but it looks nice. Look how they did this. It's a series of, <laughs> it's a series of standoffs. I wonder if these are floating. Surely they are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it flips just like, just like you'd want it to. Detent is actually way nicer than I thought it was going to be. That flips really well. No double clutch. It's close. No double clutch. We also have a radius spine here. Jumping in a nice spot. We have a little, little choke up position there. Yeah, is this hollow? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Real nice. Less bitey than I thought it would be, but you can see it's still catching dead skin. Hold on. I'm not sure. I'm not gauging that edge the way that I thought that I would. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty... Not not the absolute sliciest thing in the world, but definitely slicey. More of a clean cut than a tear. We're not lipping, right? The edges are not lipping. It's not proving much. It's just the factory edge on, on paper, as I always say, but... Sometimes it's nice to get to to get an idea of the factory cutting edge there. Um, yeah, okay, a little we got ventilation here, right? The flip is so powerful it needs to vent heat. <laughs> Not really. Um, yeah, okay, ergos are all right. Nice milled clip. Uh, we have a steel lock bar insert, and it looks like they've got the screws on the outside. Interesting how they are these. What's going on here? Hmm. Is it a stop? Is it a catch? How they've milled the titanium? To, there's like a little lip on the outside there. Maybe so they don't rotate? Is it D-shaped? Okay, maybe it is. All right. Neat. Yeah. Real plain Jane, but a nice way to do that. A nice departure from the, you know, more simplistic plain Jane that we've seen in the past. I'm pretty sure the Riot Gents number nine... Is there a number eight, a number seven? I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. I mean, this is my first time handling it. Um, this, just, I never looked at the specs. I thought that it was going to be bigger. It's fine, the size that it is. But this is just shy of seven and three quarter inches with 3.35 uh, inches of blade, though. Pretty good. Um, I thought that this was going to be like eight and a half inches. Um, so not that that's a letdown. It's just, it kind of threw me a little bit. I don't know why the pictures made it look like it was a bigger knife. This guy is 8.6 blade length is 3.75 and cutting edge is also 3.75. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I gotta say my favorite of this couple here is the Tucson. It's kind of neat. All right. I'll link these down below if they're available. I would imagine this guy is. I don't know about this guy. Uh, here in a few weeks, you'll get full reviews on both of them. That's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.